Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing a video on doing a teardown of a Fiat 500E battery pack module. There are two types of modules in this car. There's a 5-cell and a 6-cell. So this one's the 6-cell version. So we're going to go ahead and take this thing apart and see how it comes apart. In theory, some people believe that you might be able to take this thing apart and then replace these cells with the higher capacity cells of the same size and form factor which would be one way to get more range out of a car but I strongly disagree that that would be a viable option because first of all the way that this thing is constructed it's laser welded it's super tight and if you see how close it is the uh, metal to the actual cell there it's going to be a little difficult to get that out cleanly and um, it's also welded up here too. And I believe that these are welded up here as well. But we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at this a little further. Try to go ahead and take this thing apart. Um, also another reason why I'm doing this is because um, there's 97 cells in this battery pack originally. And I'm working on two different projects that I'm using the cells for. And 97 doesn't divide out very well when you divide it by two. But if you take one cell off, which is what we're going to be doing, we're going to be reducing this from a 6 to a 5. If you take one cell away, 96 does divide very nicely into two. So that's one of the reasons we're doing this today. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I've done is I took the orange caps off just to get a little bit better look at what's going on here. As you can see, these things appear to be welded in place here. We know these cells are all in a series. Gonna get a little bit messy here. We're gonna try to take it easy here. This is, you know, very could be potentially a very dangerous procedure because our our cells really are like right there. You know, it's like there's not a hope there's not really any giant clearance here. There's no bolts or anything, there's nothing to unbolt. You have to this is all laser welded together here. So we're either gonna have to get in here and hammer on this thing to break that seam, or we're gonna have to take our angle grinder and grind off a little bit right there. So anyway, let's go ahead and continue. So just using a hole punch and a, and a chisel, I've been hammering away on that seam right there and I, I, we're kind of working it free right there. For the last half inch there, I ended up using a, an edge grinder cut off wheel, just right here. And as I was cutting through it, it uh, popped as it broke free, as it came closer to that edge there. And so that's how it looks. It made a loud popping sound kind of gave me a little bit of a chill there but um it's actually just a spring this whole thing it's got quite a bit of tension on it you can see that i'm trying to push that back together again it just doesn't really go back i mean that is under some serious tension right there. this comes right off afterwards you basically just can slide it right out but you see how it has this kind of concave kind of shape to it i think that's it's part of the spring tensioning or something it definitely has some tension on it so after that this is what we have right here. And so I've just kind of played around with this a little bit. This thing actually just slides right out at that point. So we have this right here, the venting for the cells that comes out the top there. And this is just welded on here, pretty thick. So there's another, some, some more steel plate there. And that leaves us the, I took some of the BMS wires off. And I went ahead and used the cutoff wheel to cut this, separate that cell right there from the uh, from the other five. And so this thing seems to be, the plastic seems to kind of hold the whole tray thing in the, together. As you can kind of see it right here. So since I cut that cell off, it's almost wanting to come free now. I can see how this is almost coming free here. All you have to do is bend up those metal edges and then it just kind of pulls right out. You just bend it, it comes right out. So there you are. That's our Samsung SDI cell fully separated from the uh, pack now. So as far as this guy goes over here, what I think I'm going to do for my particular application, reducing it from a 6 to a 5, we got this piece to salvaged off, we're just going to solder that down. And that's basically our pack right there. So I've already tore off this other part above here. I'm not even going to mess with that. That doesn't, that's actually like 2.5 pounds right there. So I just reduced this weight of this pack 2.5 pounds by getting rid of that. I think what we can do is we can just keep the end pieces right here, such as so. And basically just duct tape this thing all the way around a few times. And I think that thing's good to go. Here's our cell with all the fittings completely removed. As you can see, Samsung SDI. 
And these um, fittings seem to be factory stock. These haven't been added or anything later. They're actually, you can actually see the blue paint is actually around that. Especially on this side. You can see that it actually overlaps with the plastic right there. You can see a little bit right there. So they paint it blue afterwards. So that is all how it comes, basically. It's not added on afterwards. See how thickness our case is pretty thick. So here's to be aluminum. It's a nice sturdy, uh, nice sturdy cell. So that guy right there is four pounds and three ounces. Nominal value of 3.75 volts. And just for fun, this is an 18650 cell. This is the one that they use in the test of Model S and, and X. And um, a lot of laptops and all kinds of other electronic devices. But that's also about 3.7 uh, volts. But as you can tell, the size difference is quite different. Quite a difference in size there, same voltage. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. Many more videos to come.